There are so many faces of self-help. Each tells a unique story. Each story is part of the life and history of self-help. And all are part of our family and part of the greater community. Self-help Community Services has been around for over 80 years. Our mission started by serving Holocaust survivors back in the 30s, and we continue to serve that population going forward. Self-help was founded to assist victims of persecution to resettle in a new land after they had left everything behind, helping them with training, helping them with employment, helping them with socialization. The promise to be the last living relative to the survivors and to make sure that they're taken care of, that is the thing that drives self-help. We've grown with that population, we've expanded programs and services, and in realizing the expertise that we provide to that population, self-help has grown, broadening it to the greater New York community. The way we approach caring for the elderly, it's not just caring for them, it's allowing them to care for themselves and to really live independently with dignity. Self-help is an organization that is not part of a nursing home or a hospital. Our bricks and mortar that we do are affordable housing and independent living. It's a model called housing with services. Home care services, or social work services, home health aides, food, transportation. We help to bring those services in our buildings or in their homes around the city. Some people need meals delivered, some people need housekeeping services, some people need their bookkeeping taken care of, and some people just need to get out of the house and go for a walk. Self-help really focuses on each person's individual needs and helps them with whatever it is they need help with. We pride ourselves in providing services one client at a time. Morning. Good morning. How are you? This is John. Is this Fran's class? My name is John Gatiss. I started going to Self-Help Senior Center here, but I had a stroke that made me incapacitated. So Maria Dixon called me up and said, you know, they have a new program where they bring a computer to your house and it's virtual classes. When I heard that he couldn't get about very easily and he couldn't come out to the center anymore, I called him and I knew that the classmates in the virtual senior center would get a thrill and he would be able to help others and be helped as well. I'm a person who's a helper. Being a helpy was very difficult for me. With the virtual center, you're not really helping me. I'm looking to help myself. I look at programs that I'm interested in that'll help me, and I'm doing it on my own. And it enhanced my life. I'm gaining knowledge. The world is open. Here I could go anywhere. You know, I could go throughout the whole world. It's working out very nicely, and I love self-help. My name is Jenny Rubinovich. I am from Ukraine. I am 84 years old, almost 85. I was very depressed. Self-help was helping me. My social worker, Vicky, she came to me, she explained to me, and she told me, if you will go for the coffee house, you will be with the people then. They will be helping you to go on a little bit better. And then, every time, when I came over there, I feel better because I make new friends. We sit at the table, make conversations. Everything is nice. I want to say thank you to the self-help. They help me a lot. And self-help means everything to us. Thank you. My name is Chen Li Ling. I moved here in 2013. I'm happy. I'm learning English very, very happy. Yeah. I see her talent and the enthusiasm, so I encouraged her to bring in some new activity for our building. She started running a singing group, turned out to be a very successful one. 
，所以有的有的老年，所以这些叔叔呢有什么帮助啊什么，大家都挺好。永远一家。We survived together, working as slaves in an ammunition factory for four years, but we found hope in each other. My name is Isaac Bloom. Isaac, we love each other. Even in this hell, we love each other. As long as we are alive, you need to remember that there is still light. You are my light. That was an unexpected experience. The way it is done, a group of people that we didn't know each other, slowly, slowly. We created a family. Witness Theatre brings students from local schools together with survivors to tell their story about the atrocities of the Holocaust. The therapy a survivor receives as they see students acting out their life before them. It's a release for them, a release of their past to help them heal. It's also a way to educate the younger generation so that the idea of never again remains true. Thank you for trusting in us enough to share your story. Mm. I'm happy that it was there. I will have a great, great memory what, what we did here. Self-help of the nicest people in the world. The nicest people. Loving, caring, helping. Just being there, it's a good feeling. All elderly people really deserve the love, respect, and support that self-help gives. And giving back is so important. I think the world is round, and uh, what you give is what you get. That's the best way to do it, just by living it. I really feel self-help lives that.